So in this video, we are going to discuss that how to configure this uh, AAA local authentication. So we will discuss only the commands and we will do the practice. Uh, we demonstrate in packet tracer in some um, in other video. So we will discuss only the commands which are used to configure triple A local authentication and in the next slide we discuss uh, server based triple A authentication. So it is rec recommended that when we are going to configure this triple A authentication on, uh, on device, first of all, we should consider to add at least one name in our local database, whether it, even this is, of course, if, if this is a local database, of course, then everything is stored there. But if this is server based, then we should have at least one information or one information about uh, some specific user the administrative user so that if the server machine fails for example if this is a server and it fails then at least we should have some name in our local database by which we should be able to access this uh, device so as a backup plan so what we do we just use at least one username and password in local database of a router so as an example we have taken router here so uh, I have created one user, one username. So this is the username and this is the password. So we created one username, and you can use more encryption techniques uh, to make this more secure. But in the simple sense, this is the username and password which has been created in the local database of the router. First command, and then we need to enable this triple a authentication on the router and to enable that we have a command that is triple a new and here comes dash so triple a new dash and module so with this simple command we are going to enable triple a authentication on the router once the triple a authentication has been enabled we need to configure a default authentication list so this is in this case you can see this is triple a authentication login default local so the first part of this command so from this to login so this first part of this command indicates that uh, this login command is used to allow users to access into the router via console vt by terminals or console port so this command actually this for example here is this the command we use this command. So this command actually says that this is a router and user can access the IOS of this router using console. They can access this um, VTY line. So in this way, this command is, hold, is used to indicate that one. And then comes this word default. So the default keyword actually indicates that the authentication methods applies to all, all the all the lines, so those, that those, those lines may be again the console or VTY lines or VCP. So they can work with all. And uh, the authentication methods which will be used by this command, so these are located here, which comes after this command. So after list, we will have some information that where to look for the data of the user who want to access. For example, this user want to access this router now the router has to check for the database of the users it means it the router should have the record of username and password so it will have to look into some database and at this time this database available at local machine or local computer so we use the term local here now in uh, here this is interesting point this is actually um, related with the server base which we'll be discussing later in the next slide but you see here instead of local so this is simple word here if I say this instead of this word we can have a list so what can we can have we can have a complete list like we you can see we have the tech x server we have the radius server and then we also have the local database so in this case, we are using a list. So in this list, we can have different methods. So for example, in this case, we have mentioned that if the user, this user wants to access the router, router needs to check first the TechX plus server. So TechX servers will be there. Router has to go there. And if this fails, if this fails, then the router has to go to radius server. So we will have another server here, radius server. 
and if this fails then finally the router has to check the local database so in this way the router has to check priority wise these all uh, databases uh, and if one if one is not available then go to next and if second was not available then go to the third one if the third one is not available of course then we will not have any any username to access the uh, router ios so in this case it says the first method is known as primary method and the second method is known as the backup method as well as fallback method so the first method this is primary and this one is the backup method or fallback method is good to have so this is something about when we are using the server based authentication but we discuss there but at the moment just we are we should be happy with this local one because we are using this local and so with this command we actually configured a authentication list so we enabled a triple e authentication and then we configured a list where the database of the users will be saved and accessed for the authentication and then we need to apply to particular uh, port or interface or VTY, VTY lines and these these this list so what we do yeah so what we do now we have router in this case we have router we have different ports like console port we have VTY lines which are actually virtual lines now we need to apply this list to that particular uh, console port, maybe ter terminal line. So, for example, in this case, we are going to apply this list, which is by name default. So, yeah, this is, I want to mention that here we can actually specify the name of that particular list. For example, if I'm going to name, so I'm say this is for class. Name is class. Maybe name is maybe name is some academics. Maybe any name you can give the name as well. So. The name will be used here. So apply that particular list to, in this case, for example, to virtual terminal line. So what we do, we remove it. So we use this command. Say that go to line virtual. Uh, so go to line vty04. So we are in virtual line, and then we say login authentication default. So now we are using this list which we created here. We are going to use this list now at this particular terminal line. Okay, so this name should match. If we are using some other name, then this name should come here. Okay, in the same way, we can also apply this to line console. And yes, we can give here one additional command that is transport input SSH. Transport input and SSH. So it means only secure shell communication will be allowed through this one. And this can also be applied to line console and that for for that we need to go to line console zero and then login authentication default so this is the default is the list from where this will check the database of the users now the server based authentication so we discussed the local now server based authentication in this case of course we need a server because server is needed uh, here before that when the user wanted to access the ios the router was checking it locally but now we have a dedicated machine that is AAA server. So router will send request to AAA server and server will check the database. So in this time we need a server. And the first command is to enable AAA authentication as we did in local authentication, same. So this is the second command we need to have on our routers. And then we have to give information on this router because you see this router has to ask this server machines to to uh, to check the credentials of this users it means now this router should be informed that now you need to go to this uh, server triple server then we need to go to global configuration mode of this router and we say this is the techx servers ip address which we will be using so this is the ip address of this server so we say we are asking router to go to this particular server and for exchange or for communication between them we have set or we have defined one key so that key is newb folks well, newb123 so this shared key will be used for example if i'm going to clear it so this shared key you will have a key here newb123 we will have a key newb123 by using this key they will exchange this information so this will be secure so we gave the key as well which we have already configured on this so, server and the matching key is used 
at this router as well. And the third command, which we discussed before as well, what we do, we just say AAA authentication login, and then we define a list. And this list, actually, we are using this group. This time group, we are using TechX server and local. So first, according to this command, the first, this router has to go and check with the TechX plus server, and then it has to check the local. If this fails, then it has to go to the next option. So this is the third uh, command, the set of command to configure authentication methods. And then we are done, then we need to go to that particular. So this particular primary method and second one is the backup method. And then finally we need to go to that particular VTY line and apply this list there. So what we do with this, the first command, line VTY04, we go to those particular VTY lines. And the next command is that, please use this list, which we have defined in this command, use this list for authentication. So this is done by this, okay? And then yes, transport input, SH, SHS, a transport input, and SSH. This command is actually saying that, please allow only the SSH uh, communication through this channel or through this uh, VTY line, okay? And if we want to use the same list for the console, then again, we need to go like uh, to console four, line console zero, and then we use uh, this command that is login authentication default. So default means the list which we define here. So this is, this is a simple way to enable AAA authentication and then give information about the server, which router will be using, and then we create our configured authentication list. And once we have created that list, we go and apply that list to particular VTY lines or console ports. So with this uh, bit understanding, we will implement, or we will demonstrate the idea and back tracer. And uh, thank you, thank you very much for your time.